We're joined now by Dr. Ayla Stanford. She is the founder and CEO of the Black Doctors COVID-19 Consortium, as well as the Dr. Ayla Stanford Center for Health Equity. Dr. Stanford, good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. How are you, Siafa? How are you? I'm fine. Thank you very much. So millions of Americans are trying to get tested with the holidays approaching. Are all at-home test kits the same? Uh, are they all the same? Uh, I would say most folks are using Abbott. Rest assured, if they are on the shelf in your pharmacy, that they have been uh, FDA reviewed and uh, by the CDC, and those would be safe. I'd be careful about things you're ordering on Amazon that don't have a stamp of approval. That's a great distinction. Thank you very much. Um, if you are a fully vaccinated person and also got a booster shot, is it safe to be around people who are not vaccinated? So, no. It is not. If people have chosen at this point not to get vaccinated, that is your choice. And you exercise your choice by keeping yourself and your family safe by not being around the unvaccinated. We're still out here today since before 9 a.m. We've serviced over 400 people, a lot of positive tests, which is why we had to move some folks outside and they're still here. I don't know how cold it is, but I can't feel my toes and my fingertips anymore. But we've been testing all afternoon and also vaccinating and boosters. And uh, no, if you are unvaccinated, I do not want to see you anywhere near me, nor my family. Dr. Stanford, why, why are we hearing about what seems like, I'm, I think a lot of it's anecdotal, but why, why are we hearing so much about what seems like a lot of breakthrough cases among the fully vaccinated? So I, I think breakthrough is a misnomer. When you uh, have COVID and you have been vaccinated and you're home to talk about it, the vaccine has done its job. The vaccine is to prevent you from getting COVID or prevent you from having a severe illness, being hospitalized or dying. That is what the vaccine, the purpose is in that vaccine efficacy. We know after six months, it's not as efficacious. And so if someone has gotten COVID after six months after their second dose or two months after Johnson and Johnson, then the vaccine is not as effective when you first receive your two doses. The CDC has not addressed this topic yet, um, but there are lots of questions parents are asking about um, a booster shot for their children. Is that something you recommend? Is that something? Yeah. How would you answer that question, really? So right now it's 16 and up and I know uh, parents are anxious. I mean, I am anxious. I have 11 year old twins and 13 year olds, but I am going to wait until it's been studied and reviewed before I give my child an off label booster. If you're 16 and up for Pfizer, yes, you should. But other than that, certainly discuss it with your doctor, but it is not approved to be uh, performed at this time for those 15 and under for a booster shot. So the answer there is stay vigilant, mask up, and uh, yes. be safe. Continue yes. to be safe. Dr. Ailes Sanford, I know you're, yeah. you're, you're doing the work outside as we speak. Thank you so much for joining us, and I hope you and your family have a very happy holiday. Thank you so much, and a safe one to you as well. Thank you. Well, as we've